Hey YouTube, just want to give a quick update on my grow outs off of Chicken Sun and Miss Jocko. Um, again, they're growing up pretty good. I think the average size of my grow outs are now three and a half inches. Um, and I have some that are four. And my big, my big one here, I don't know if it's a male or female, but the big one is about five and a half, almost six inches. Um, it's almost the same size as Spanish fly here. Um, as you can see, they in here with Spanish fly and Mayday. Uh, so, Spanish fly and Mayday are also off of Chicken Sun. Uh, so this will give you a good idea of what the fry will look like, you know, as they grow up, you know. Um, the sickness strand hunter did an awesome job of, of being able to maintain that um, not only that tall body structure of these fish, and the camera really doesn't do them justice, but he also was able to maintain that um, that big lip gene that everybody liked. So a lot of people were saying that, you know, that's the big one there. A lot of people were saying that, you know, when they tank raise, they lose the lips and all. So these fry will be considered F5, because I, Chicken Sun was F3, Mayday and Miss uh, and Spanish Fly here are F4, um, and these are off of Miss Jocko who's F4, and um, Chicken Sun who's F3, so this will make the fry, of, of course, of captive bread, tank rays, but if you want to go down one level on the filial system, they will be considered F5, I guess. But even still, you know, they still have the same lips um, that people now desire. Like, I'm not, I don't really care about the lips. Um, I'm more of a body structured type of guy. But um, these fish have it all, you know. And I, I've, it's, it's hundreds of them in here. Um, I've been very reluctant as to moving them out because, I'm, uh, you know, these are the last ones off a of chicken son and you know so these for me these are very valuable but i know i can't keep them all and i know i need to start moving some of them out so they can start living comfortably and growing a lot uh, growing a lot better besides it's also uh to maintain this tank i'm changing the water almost every day i was doing every other day but i'm changing it um almost 90 percent of this water like every day um because there's so many in here so it's about time i start moving these guys out like I said, getting them to their new home. This is a nice one right here. You know, about a good, that's a good four, four and a half inch right there. Um, and they were born in September, the end of September. Uh, so that would make them about, about going on five months. Um, and like I said, they are they are healthy. You know, they look good. And they, they are super valuable because um, Chicken Son, although I was unable to show him, because of his untimely death, he was most definitely uh, a show-worthy fish. Um, and as you can see, his offspring, I'm going to show all of these fish, all his offspring. They're flawless, the bigger ones. I have um, Red Boy in another tank. I have Miss Jocko in another tank. And I have these two here, um, Spanish Fly and Mayday. And they're all phenomenal. Um, I also want to get into... Uh, breed and Miss Jocko maybe again. I don't know if I'm going to breed her to uh, Smoking Joe, which is Chicken Son's brother. I also have another fish um, off of Chicken on a Chain, which was come off of another spawn. Uh, Brett, similar to just like Chicken Son, but off of a different spawn. Same mother, same father, but different spawn. Um, also have a, a, um, a, a female off of that same spawn as well. Um, so I, I do want to do some more breeding in the spring, but the priority now is trying to get these into the proper hands. So if you're interested in, you know, acquiring some of these uh, Al Zapatera Red Devils, and like my man, the Sickle Strand Hunter said, you know, there's a distinct difference, you know, from these Al Zapatera Red Devils um, compared to, you know, other Red Devils. You know, I mean, just the body structure alone um, is very distinct because they don't have that sleek, slender 
look like the normal red, red devils. These are more tall body, and because they have that tall body, it enables them, well, it enables them to um, to develop a knuckle hump. Um, as you can see in Chicken Son, and some of his um, videos, if you go back to my old videos, as you can see in Smoking Joe, as you can see in Miss Jocko, and you, you can see in um, Mayday here, you know, they have a tall body, and uh, they're just phenomenal fish. They're, not, they're nice and thick and hardy, you know. It's, there's no other red devils like these. You know, I'm a firm believer in the um, in the blood and the genetics of this particular location. And I think that, you know, I'm going to forever, if, as long as I have red devils, I'm going to focus on, you know, improving what I have, but using strictly this location. All right, guys, so... I might have to move this guy out fast into another tank because I'm thinking it's going to get to a point where he's already trying to challenge Miss uh, uh, Spanish Fly. You know, um, I don't want anything to happen to him or, eat, or any of the others. Um, so I may be moving him out, you know, to his own tank or putting him somewhere else where he's not, he doesn't pose a threat or she doesn't pose a threat to the other fish. But as you can see, you know, the, the lips are forming on this one as well. Um, nobody has peeled yet from my experience with this stuff that comes off of um, chicken on the chain from the ones that I've had and I had I think I had not only chicken son um, but five or six of his offspring <clears throat> and they all peel late you know so it's not strange to see these fish here you know still barred you know um, as a matter of fact miss uh, um, Spanish fly she didn't start peeling until, I want to say, October, you know, of last year. Um, I had her, like, I, I usually don't show a lot of the fish that, you know, I just keep some stuff stashed away until I'm ready to break them out. And she was one of them that I wasn't ready to break out. Um, and she, she was the last one of this group that peeled. And that was, like I said, that was probably in October. Um, so it's not strange that this particular you know, line or, you know, strand of Red Devils, they maintain their bars until they get a little older. But thanks for listening, YouTube. And again, if you're interested in acquiring some of them, um, you know, you could, you know, contact me through the page and then I'll give you contact information moving forward and I'll, you know, get them out to you, hook you up. All right. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, also, check out um, All Things Amphilophus on Facebook. All Things Amphilophus on Facebook. All right, YouTube. Peace.